So my host family, my host family is really great. Uh, it's my papa. He's a uh, papa is father or man or sir. Functions the word functions in many different ways. But anyway, my papa is uh, is probably in his late forties, uh, maybe early fifties, and uh, he's a good man. Very nice. Uh, there I have my ibu or my mother, my host mother. She's wonderful. She makes a lot of meals. She likes to tease me. <laughs> she uh, showed me a lot of the ropes around the house. I have a, a host brother who's 18, about to be 19, named Wahyu. I have a host brother who's nine, named Ahmad. And I have a host sister, a little five-year-old giggling dynamo named Zarotul. And, uh, and she's just extremely cute. And uh, I really like them all very nice. It's communication with them is improving <laughs> as my language skills improve. There's also, uh, I guess my host uncle lives here as well. He's my Ipu's brother. And uh, he actually has a couple words of English, but not really more than I have Indonesian. So, uh, but he's also really nice, very helpful. They're all very nice people, Indonesians. For those of you who don't know, which is pretty much everyone who will be watching this are among the nicest people you could ever possibly imagine. I mean, you walk down the street, you can wave at them, you can say hi to them, you smile at them, they all smile back and they wave and they laugh and they, uh, you know, they greet you. They're very, very warm. Uh, they have a, it's a food culture and they try to make you, they try to make you eat a lot of food <laughs> and it's good. It's good food. Uh, it's just sort of, sometimes it can be a little bit of a battle not to, you know, just be like, please, no more food, I'm really, really, I'm full, don't feed me anymore. But, you know, that's a, that's one of those good problems, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, so my family is very, very nice, uh, in the village, they're connected with, I guess all the, a lot of the other families, several other volunteers. Uh, their families, their mothers, and they're, they're all in contact. It's a small village, so everybody knows everybody, and uh, everybody's in constant communication. They usually know where I've been, or what I've been doing before I have the chance to tell them. The <laughs> uh, word travels fast. Um, there are some aspects of village life which are kind of just a little bit fascinating. Uh, one of them is that uh, Indonesians are very social. They, a lot of them have, they all basically all have cell phones and they're all in constant communication with each other. They're big on Facebook, I think, Indonesia. It's like maybe the number two or number three country in the world on Facebook and considering its technological progress compared to the US, that's very impressive. Uh, they love to network, they love to talk. Um, Yet in my house, you know, there's not warm water, and there's no uh, computer, there's no internet. There's one small TV, which has a, an antenna, old style. Uh, maybe just think about sort of, it's interesting the differing rates of technological, of adopting different technologies. There's no refrigerator here. Uh, meals are prepared in the morning and then you eat the food throughout the day several times, so the same food several times, and then maybe a new portion will be cooked, or a new uh, side dish will be added and mixed into, mixed into whatever you've been eating, and so it's kind of an evolving picture of the food, but there's the one constant is rice, white rice. Well, it's not the one constant, but it's the most constant of constants. There's rice with every meal, Food is good. It's good. It's, uh, some of it's pretty spicy, which I like a lot. You know, sometimes I'll just eat hot chili peppers with the meal like on the side. Uh, my boo is a good cook. Uh, there are some local tastes which are a little bit weird. They have a, they have a very sweet taste, even sweeter than Americans. Uh, But uh, you know, I'm used to it. I'm used to it, and I, and I like it. It's not as salty. 
There's a ton of different kinds of like protein. Uh, you eat chicken, you eat goat, beef, a lot of tofu, a lot of tempeh, eggs. Uh, yeah, they, they mix it up. There's vegetables, and fruits also. Not, not much in the way of bread or pasta. There's not much, not much of that going on. <laughs> Uh, and then a lot of it's always sweets. They always offer you sweets, or they make sweets, and uh, that's a big part of the diet. In fact, it's too big a part of the diet because a lot of the children have problems with their teeth because they eat a lot of sweets, and then they, I think, they suck on rice and put it under their upper lip, and that uh, contributes to tooth rot. So my little sister here, Sato Tool doesn't have a great set of upper teeth, but luckily she's going to lose them and maybe she'll do better with the next 